Hey, what's up? Welcome to my backyard. It's your favorite cook, Kirby. As you've seen by the title, we're going to be seasoning our brand new Blackstone. Alright, before we start seasoning our griddle, a couple items you're going to need. You're going to need a scraper, you're going to need a towel or some paper towels that you'll be applying the oil on your griddle. You will need some type of oil. Now I'm using canola oil. I use canola oil on pretty much almost every grill I've seasoned and griddle. Uh, there's nothing wrong with canola oil. It works just as good. If you're really worried about specific oils, you can use extra virgin olive oil or flaxseed oil. Now for all you oil scientists out there, I don't care, you didn't pay for it. And another couple items you're gonna need, you're gonna need a damp towel so that way you can wipe off your griddle right before we put the oil and everything and start firing everything up. And if you have any manufactured rust spots, you're gonna need a scotch pad or some steel wool so that way you can scrape off the rust. Make sure you clean that up first, which mine actually does have some rust spots, which I'll show you guys in a little bit how to take them off. Don't worry, it's not going to hurt the griddle. You just remove the rust, scrub it off, use some of that elbow grease, and then after that, you'll just finish the process of seasoning your Blackstone. Now, coming from the manufacturer, you are going to have soy oil uh, coated on the griddle. So you might want to go ahead and clean that off. I don't see a big deal about it. I've never had an issue with, uh, you know, soy oil. But uh, like I said earlier, I do have some rust spots. I have a rust spot here. I have a couple rust spots here. I guess where maybe some type of non oil metal was touching there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean that up right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a little bit of water down and we're gonna take our scotch pad just give it a nice good scrubbing there A little bit of elbow grease doesn't hurt. All right, so I do have a couple spots that are being a little stubborn, at least to my liking anyways. So what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using a steel wool pad. If the scotch pad ain't doing it, I'm gonna pull you out some steel wool. Just like, it works like a charm. Still wool, I mean, it, it, it really gets it off of there. All right, so now that we got all the rust spots off, go ahead and give your, your griddle a nice wiping. If you wanna get any particles off, any debris that may have landed on there, because now we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, and we're gonna let that steel start heating up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, Light up our Blackstone. We're going to be putting this on high. All right, so we have all four burners going. Uh, we're going to let this heat up. Uh, basically, we're going to let it go to where you start seeing discoloration uh, on the griddle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be laying down our oil and start caking it and seasoning it. So uh, just let it do its thing. Once you start seeing different colors on your Blackstone, then that's when you know it's ready to start putting down some oil. All right, so we're seeing a little discoloration, so we're gonna lay down a little bit of oil. Be really careful, it is hot. All right, go ahead and take that nice thick cloth and just go ahead and just wipe your griddle evenly. Make sure you wanna get every little spot. All along the bottom of the griddle, along the sides.
Now note, if you're gonna be using paper towels, the paper towels do burn. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. That's why I use a cloth. I actually used to use uh, old tea, white t-shirts. Make sure you want to get on the sides right here. Now be really careful because that flame is right there. Backside here also. All right, now that you got a nice coating there, now you just let that oil burn off. We're gonna do this uh, two more times. Uh, and then pretty much after that, your black stone is ready to use. Um, a lot of people say that there's a certain amount of times, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times to, that you need to put down the oil that many times. Me, personally, no. Uh, I just do it three times and then I start using it. Uh, as you use it, it will season itself even more. So just keep that in mind. You know, you can do this two times and just go ahead and start using your, your new griddle. All right, so it looks like we burnt off some of that oil. We're gonna add a little bit more. Be really careful, this thing is hot, okay? All right, now you can start seeing a bunch of little spots of oil just caked on there. So we're just gonna go ahead and give it a little, one more time. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is just go ahead and shut everything down, let this cool, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now that it's starting to cool down, this is what it looks like season. It's still warm. Now it'll get more seasoning as you use it, but uh, like I said earlier, three times is enough. Like I said, it's not rocket science. It's very simple to do, and trust me, you'll have it done within an hour. Now, the only thing I need to do is get to cooking on this bad boy, but if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that we can see some future recipes that I do on this thing. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section and smash that like button for me. Now y'all be beautiful. Peace.